Okay, so so last month um, there were people who said that um, we were going into weeks two, three, and four, and I heard people mention that they were still working on the um, getting the original, the basic and the advanced under their fingers. Um, so if you're an advanced player and you're having no problems keeping up, uh, this might not be for you. But if you had trouble last month um, keeping up and just getting the song under your fingers uh, in a time that allowed you to kind of stay with the class, this might help. Uh, so what I do is I bring up David's video on my laptop and then I have the notation printed out and I just put that next to my laptop. So I take the video as gospel, if you will. That's that's the important part. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get it to sound like that. And if it wasn't right, it wouldn't be the video, right? So this is, this is gospel. Uh, for lack of a better word, hopefully that's not offensive. Here we go. So... <laughs> That's more than enough. And the way you might think to do that is you would follow. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend taking that big chunk. What we're gonna do is is called chunking. And it's, it's a really common practice for learning anything. And it's breaking things down into bite-sized pieces and then putting them together. And it really works. So I'm going to forget about that little intro, those intro notes. I'm going to leave those out. I'm going to start at bar one and I'm just going to play and if it helps just think the bass in this style is always going to give you one, two, three, four. So think one, two, three, four. And if it helps, use that as, you know, pinch, two, three, and four. 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 And you're going to play that over and over until it's completely solid. And because it's a bar, it's perfect. It's four beats, repeat, repeat. Now we're gonna go to the second bar. And at this point, I make sure I sound like David. It's really important to critically listen. So once you've got this, listen to the video again. Just listen to that little part, like I just did, and make sure it sounds right. And then once you've got that, you feel really comfortable with it, we're gonna go to the next one. So maybe listen again. That part. And that is on one, it's a slide. Slide, pinch, three, four. Slide, pinch, three, four. Slide, pinch. So you can think of it that way at first. I wouldn't be thinking slide, pinch, three, four the whole time. <laughs> Don't get caught up in that. Try and think what it feels like. Try and grasp the physicality of it. So what does that feel like? What's it feel like in your left hand? What's it feel like in your right hand? Memorize the feeling, if that makes sense. But that's how you want to think of it. You don't want to think of it as numbers. You don't want to be saying it's, okay, it's a zero, and then there's this one to two. Do not do that. That is a terrible way to memorize. You'll just never be able to memorize that way. You want to memorize the physicality. What does it feel like when I go... And then you start putting it together. You know, that first part, um, uh, 
and then just loop that. And once you've got that, you can start looking at the intro, bringing that in if you want. But I would say get through the first four bars because then it goes to that. And I know when I played that, I was off. That's on. So now, See, that was a mess up. That was a mistake. My nail hit it the wrong way. And I picked up on that right away. I'm like, that's terrible. Don't do that again. So what did I do? I was too far this way and my nail scraped it. I'm not going to do that again. So as I learn each piece, so th that's your next part. And it's interesting because on that B string, you have to play twice, two notes or you could do a pull off, but it's written as. So I always use these two fingers. When I have to play more than one note, I typically, if possible, go to the first and second. And why? Because it's a classical technique and nobody plays lead lines as well as classical players. So I leverage their approach of one, two, one, two, one, two, when it comes to single note lines, those guys are awesome at it. And the guys that use that technique, try keeping up with them. They're, they're really the best. So I just use theirs. That's, and, and all of this is one guy's approach, but try this, try just bar one, try just bar two, just three, just four. Um, and in this case, three and four are, the, are really the same. So just loop three and four together. Um, so you got the chunk of bar one, the chunk of bar two, the chunk of bar three and four, and then blend them together, bring them together and see if you can get one and two together. And then one, two, three and four together and take that, try taking that approach of chunking it first and then expanding the chunks into bigger blocks and see if that doesn't help move you forward faster because, you know, we did four bars right there. And if you did four bars every time, um, what is there? There's four. Yeah. So that's the tune in three days, right? <laughs> day one, day two, day three. That is three days and you've done the basic. That gives you three days to do the advanced and you've completed the song in week one as uh, as requested. So I think it'll help. If it ha if it helps, fantastic. Again, it's one guy's approach, but um, I really hope it helps. Take care.